Hello everyone, in this video, prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. In this video, he will be sharing with us on how to overcome demonic oppressions in our lives. There are so many people in this world that, that suffers demonic oppression. And when you open your heart to this video and you listen, it will bless you in no small way. And we trust and believe that you will get your solution through this video. God bless you. If a visitor comes to meet two of us or someone comes to meet you and your, say your sibling and he gives 10,000 10, and he says give everybody. If you didn't hear it or you didn't know that there is a share for you there, the person can even give you 1,000 and you can kneel down. He can even say go away. This was for me. Is that true? But if for any reason you find a way, when the person wants to solve that problem, he will come again. And he will say, let me repeat what I said. I said, this 10,000 is for everybody. When you hear it, that contention dies. Because immediately now you know the truth. And based on the truth you know, you can say, my 10,000, no stories. Hand it over to me now in peace. Your boldness is based on the quality of the information and the persuasion that you have. When you rebuke the devil and speak and then you go back and you are afraid and say, ah, did I talk too much? Oh God, forgive me. It's because you are not sure of something that generates the power and the courage. Greetings, dear friends. Through the Word of God, we have come to know not only the nature and attribute of our Creator, but His magnificent plan for us. In the midst of our busy and fast-paced life, it becomes essential to nourish our souls and cultivate a vibrant spiritual life. Today, as we prepare to listen to this message that awaits you, the blessings of God are upon you. May you receive the wisdom to discern and understand beyond the spoken word. Kindly engage with us through the comment section below, sharing your thoughts and reflection. We encourage you to support our work by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay updated for all our next messages. In your new year, welcome to our channel. We are glad you joined us. Thanks for subscribing. May the grace of God be with you, guiding your part and illuminating your heart. Amen. Many of us have found ourselves in situations today. Listen to me, we're wrapping up. You have prayed and prayed and prayed and fasted. And as soon as you are done with the fasting, the same thing you prayed about happens casually as if you were wasting your time in all that fasting you were praying to stop some spirit that is coming to molest you and just when you finish the last fast that sleep you just took a little siesta and that spirit comes again to rubbish your fasting because there are rules of engagement there are people who will not listen to me the fact that you are not listening to me is a sign that there is an attack already. That is a symptom of an attack. Listen, I will always tell you, I'm not just speaking from scripture alone. I'm speaking from experience. There are things in your life that will never grow. There are things in your life that will never thrive until you understand the rules of engagement for everybody seated here under the sound of my voice listen to me who is trusting God for some kind of liberty for yourself for your children or for your family please hear me there are only three access points as complicated as your life may seem don't let the devil confuse you it looks like there are one million doorways it's a lie there are only three access points one covenants two ignorance three disobedience that's it so you know what to close to be free and ye shall know the truth when you know the truth when both the deceived and the deceiver know the truth 
deception dies the strength of deception is that the deceiver knows the truth and that's what he uses as an advantage when the ignorance of the deceived cooperates with the knowledge of the deceiver deception happens the cure is not necessarily driving the deceiver alone but that the deceived must also come to the point of knowledge when you come to that point of knowledge now the deceiver does not have an advantage over you if a visitor comes to meet two of us or someone comes to meet you and your say your sibling and he gives 10 10 000 and he says give everybody if you didn't hear it or you didn't know that there is a share for you there the person can even give you 1000 and you can kneel down he can even say go away this was for me is that true but if for any reason you find a way when the person wants to solve that problem he will come again and he will say let me repeat what i said i said this 10000 is for everybody when you hear it that contention dies because immediately now you know the truth and based on the truth you know you can say my 10,000 no stories hand it over to me now in peace your boldness is based on the quality of the information and the persuasion that you have when you rebuke the devil and speak and then you go back and you are afraid and say ah did I talk too much oh God forgive me it's because you are not sure of something that generates the power and the courage listen i have held many charms with my bare hands i have prayed for many people this is what i do i have seen many spirits i have met many demon spirits i can tell you the strength of satan is in his power to deceive the strength of satan is in the continual ignorance of the saints the strength of satan is in the inaccurate construction of our spiritual understanding for John 1 5 says the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not when you go to your village you may, most likely may see shrines you most likely may see a lot of demonic things around just toying it with ignorance will cause you casualties but when light comes i don't know how true it is but i hear is the story of archbishop benson idahosa when i think someone dropped a dead chicken or something of that sort and they saw the chicken it was supposed to be a ritual for them to die and they carried the chicken and said we can't waste this chicken like this and they boiled it and ate it in peace and they went and slept and they woke up because you see before satan attacks he finds out what god told you and he finds out whether you know and believe what god told you the trouble is if you believe what god told you and you know how to make it happen and remain in your life now you have defeated him totally one last scripture and then we'll begin our prayer isaiah 49 isaiah 49 let's start from verse that should be 24 Isaiah 49 24 shall the prey be taken from the mighty it's a question or the lawful captive you know who a lawful captive is a lawful captive is one who was bought from a slave master because those days they used to sell human beings just like chickens and so if I'm a slave and my slave master comes and exchange money with someone and they transfer me i am still a slave i am a lawful captive number two if 
a king leads a delegation to go for war and they conquer the people and kill the king all the people within that land become slaves is that true they are called lawful captives for instance israel in egypt they were lawful captives that's why they could whip them to build those pyramids and all those egyptian buildings but he's saying is there a possibility that when the mighty has taken a prey or the lawful captive can he be delivered let the lord answer it by himself but thus saith the lord even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered for i will contend with him that contended with thee and i will save your children there is a cure to demonic covenants there is a cure to yokes and spells and hexes and all of these things please hear me there is a cure hmm. when jesus christ hung on that cross it was not just the body of a 33 year old man hanging his blood was touching the earth that old earth that is one of the witnesses when he drained his blood and according to the revelation of paul to the church in he the hebrew church when he went as a high priest and a lamb also he poured his blood once and for all and he returned back to the earth and said all hail he said all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me listen john said i wept for no man that means men are doomed i wept for no man is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll and the elder said weep not weep not oh crying comes to an end weep not weep not for behold the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david has prevailed the word prevailed means qualified to open the book and lose the seven seals verse six and i beheld and in the midst of the throne were four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as though he had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes the lamb that was slain now unto the lamb upon the throne we raise up, we raise up, for you are God and God alone, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne, we raise the sound. For you are God and God alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, can I tell you this? The lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. Listen, listen. There are people today who under normal circumstances you should not rise i don't know what my forefathers did i don't know what they did in in dating there is what we call ad and bc is that true the middle man was jesus christ i may not know what happened before he came but the good news is that he came he came he came please listen to me your destiny depends on what you are hearing 
remember everything i taught you today satan is not looking for your money he's not looking for your fruitfulness he's not looking for your job he's not looking for your health he's looking for loyalty transgenerational loyalty and that the structure of his operation largely is deception he manipulates strategies that fights the word of god the principal raw material for his fashioning his attack against you is the word of god it's amazing that it's not only god and believers that use the word of god satan uses it too it is his principal raw material hear me you hear of young men going to go and do money ritual you will never see satan following them yet he's the one moving them deception listen and when they go and do the money ritual you will see that there are physical evidences money comes so they'll go and do it again because they don't know what else satan will never tell you the complete story and he will never tell you the whole truth he will doctor the truth to present it in a way that provides an advantage for him when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth all truth satan has deceived pastors satan has deceived churches for instance the understanding and the theology that you should just concentrate on serving god in your spiritual life and don't worry whether you are doing well or not whether your finances are doing well it looks like a sincere message but that is a destructive message many sincere people have received it and today they cannot pay the school fees of their children and today they are in trouble and then for others who come and fall into this deception everything is about prosperity and prosperity and money and making it and doing all of this and they forget about strengthening believers to be strong no knowledge of the truth no evangelism no nothing and people become carnally minded all they want is competition of clothes and cars and all of that that is another kind of error but when the spirit of truth comes he will bring the whole truth and create a balanced structured growth another kind of lie that satan is so mighty you don't know what he can do be afraid and be watching always be in a position of warfare and by warfare they mean just be ready to fight that is not scriptural it may be sincere it may be well-meaning by well-meaning people but believe me from the authority of God's word that is not the position of the believer we have been given a position of victory 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 in Christ then the ones who say ignore everything don't worry about anything provided you are happy you are fine and the devil likes such sermons and he continues to use subtlety to wreak havoc over people satan will join the heads of a husband and wife and stand behind and watch them in ignorance blaming one another for food for car for house rent and it is none of those issues the adversary join the heads of people and go back and watch with joy now you are getting intelligence that everything that happens in your life among the many factors you put together to interpret the happenings in your life do not forget to tap into the wisdom of the spirit be able to discern his deception the way my husband has been behaving in the last two weeks something is wrong you don't just say i will show you that i'm a wife you think you just married a foolish person when you think like that he has also deceived you to join your head together indeed one person has to create the advantage in that equation and in that case let it be you and you go and begin to pray now i will teach you by next week when we are dealing with administering deliverance because most believers say pray but most believers don't know what they are saying this idea of praying does not just mean talk to god mm -mm. god is not the only person you talk to in prayer there are times you talk to the situation there are times you talk to the devil 
there are times that you talk to you engage and call into remembrance the integrity of god all of it is called prayer so don't say i prayed we need to vet what you did based on the situation you are trying to handle just because you were given injection does not mean you were given the right treatment we have to look at what was wrong with you and who gave you the injection and what you were given and we can say no you have typhoid this is not the treatment for typhoid are we together so just because you feel the pain of injection you can say i received the injection i should be well that's what is frustrating many believers because they will tell you apostle i have prayed you don't look nobody prays like me i agree let's hear what you have been saying let's understand to who you have been talking first let me know what you want to achieve you will find out that many believers have just been wasting their time when they say pray they just they just mean talk talk loud add it again to god round up you have prayed you will never get victory that way it takes intelligence to understand what to say there were times jesus spoke to the father father i thank thee because you hear me and he turned and said open the tomb lazarus come forth notice the protocol when he was about to break bread he gave thanks and said go and share it is that how you multiply he never said multiply this bread he just said give give thanks go and multiply it when he stood before demons he did not talk to the father he rebuked the spirits go when he sent the disciples he said in my name when you find the spirits use my office my name does not mean j-e-s-u-s -S. my name means the consciousness of my office i have given you a position use it when you see satan and they return back with shock and they said even do you know the most outstanding miracle every miracle jesus did had been done in the old testament the only miracle that had not been done in the new testament was a miracle of deliverance never had a man used authority and a name to remove any demon you don't find that in the old testament you find them playing strings and the demons living are we together now but you do not find anybody using a name to remove any demon it's not done any in fact what they do is they will kill the person they stone the person who is demonized when he dies they now frustrate the demon because like you have learned it takes a long time for demons to find bodies they don't just find any body they can find any mind but they don't just find any body bodies are scarce bodies are scarce that's why a legion will live in one body because bodies are scarce are you ready to pray I made up my mind that I will open up the truth to God's people to really understand with balance and with understanding don't just say I'm born again and everything is over it may not be very accurate you need to be instructed and to have superior spiritual understanding for now you understand what deliverance is that it has to do with establishing and manifesting your victory not fighting for it